I was going to stop there. <laughs> we weren't quite as in harmony for that one, no, but we gave it a go. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Chad Magic. My name's Christian. And I'm Wally. And today is our second Lord of the Rings episode. No pre-coms this time. These are decks we've built ourselves with our own imaginations, our own cards, and our own blood, sweat, and tears. What's coming up, Christian? Well, we have returning on the show Tom, uh, our fan favourite, Mr. Politics, the king of politics, the sure political is. trickster himself. And we've got a new guest, uh, George, who you're going to absolutely love. Uh, George has come up uh, from Surrey. Uh, we met uh, over in Naples sure while we were there. Uh, we got on really, really well. And it, yeah, he happened to be here. So we thought, why not record an episode? And I've been particularly excited to have George on the show, not just because he's the first person who ever recognised Christian or me out in the wild, but also the first person on the show to have bigger biceps than Christian. <laughs> Tom's going to hate you for that, by yeah. the way. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, so we've got a great show coming up. We're playing some really, really spicy decks. I'm sure you'll love it. Um, before we get into that, though, a bit of housekeeping. Um, first of all, we have a competition, Wally. We sure do. So if you'd like to win this box, this Dominari Remastered Draft Booster box, then all you need to do is subscribe to the channel. Why not do it now? Buttons down here. Then share our video on any social media you like and send a picture of you doing it to our channel email address, which will be down here right now. That's all you need to do. It'll take you less than two minutes and you could win this box, which I know is going to be short full of some really yeah. good cards. Some really, really spicy stuff. Um, and yet we also now have a Patreon. Sure so do. if you'd like to join our Patreon, it's again coming up over here and we're going to bring up on screen all our lovely patrons right now thank you so much guys you guys are wonderful people yes you're all excellent people they're all hanging out with us in the discord chatting about brewing chatting about general stuff you know whatever you want and it's really really good fun but if you don't want to do the patreon that's absolutely fine just hit that subscribe button we're still looking to grow the channel yep so that's all for now let's get into the gameplay shall we let's go And just like magic, we're back and ready to play. Hi everyone, my name's George. Down, well I'm up from sunny Surrey for the weekend. Uh, I'm going to be playing Samwise Gamgee. Uh, first time on the show, so I wanted to make a splash and throw some potatoes in his <laughs> food. I'm going to be trying to take Christian's always the threat title away from him, and we're going to try and combo. We're going to try and combo off with some spicy yeah. potatoes today. So you're going to take the threat title back to Surrey with you? Is that the plan? That's Love the plan. It. <laughs> Please do. I'm sick of it. <laughs> so my name's Wally, and today I'm going to be doing some aristocrats nonsense with Gollum, patient plotter. Now this guy's got the pride, he's got the passion, he's got the precious, and ain't nothing going to stop him winning this game. <laughs> I'm Tom. I'm going to be playing Aragon and Aram and Wed. Aragon? Aragon and Basically, I just want to be given everything plus one, plus one counters, and I just want to be going wide with my tokens. Uh, but it's more about the wedding itself and who's going to be invited to the wedding. So we'll see which guests arrive. Well, none of us are getting invited. You, you looked at me and didn't say, there's no way you're invited. The <laughs> threat is never invited. Hi, I'm Christian and I'm playing Tom Bombadil. It's a bit of a meme and a dream. Uh, I didn't quite have enough to make it oops or sagas, but basically it's all about sagas. I haven't quite thought about how I'm going to win yet, but I'm sure it'll uh, work its way through. Yeah, He's still a threat. Yeah, still a threat. <laughs> still a threat. Well, until George takes it from me. Yeah, Everyone ready? Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's go. Okay, so Ooh. I'm tapping up, keeping a, a draw. Uh, we're going to keep it basic. We're going to start with the forest and pass to Wally. All right, I will draw for turn. Well, I'm going to not keep it basic. I'm going to start with the Phyrexian Tower and pass it on. Okay, I'll draw. I will play, oh. a, pl play a play and tap it. Um, Lenart's Lina veteran. You'll get used to me not pronouncing correctly. <laughs> <laughs> um, Basically, uh, when another creature enters the battlefield, I, I gain one life. Yeah. Not scary. No, no, no. It, it's a really good turn one. Yeah. Right. Draw. Um, I'm going to play a uh, Godless Shrine tapped and a pass. I will draw. It's always Tom with the turn one, please. I know. I had a bit of the soul ring fear for a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to follow up with another forest and we'll, we'll get searching. We'll find a, a nature's law. Uh, we'll go and fetch a forest from our deck and it's going to be a Radiant Grove, which is the, the Plains Forest Tap Land. Uh, and then I'll, I'll pass to Wally while I grab that out. Awesome, right, so I will draw my card for turn. Cool. I'll play a Swamp. And I think I could play Gollum. Yes, I will play Gollum. <laughs> Here he is, Gollum, a patient plotter. And I'll pass to Tom. Okay, I will draw. I will whoop, untap first. Play a Forest, tap two. 
to play uh, Jukai Naturalist. And you'll gain a life. And I'll gain a life. Yes. The game train has started. And then I will attack Christian. <laughs> Obvi obviously, obviously. I have a blocker. Why do you think at me? Well, it's, you're not going to block with a, a 3 1. The whole point of Golem is to die. Okay. He's oh, literally sorry. there to die. I'll untap. He's going to throw himself draw. into the um, pits of Mount Doom. I'm going to play a uh, Mana Confluence. I'm going to pay one life. Uh, and I'm going to play my own Jukai Naturalist. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, and I'll pass it to him. I'll untap that and draw. Uh, we will play a Castle Garenbrig. When he comes into play on taps, we've got enough forest. Uh, we're going to get the main man himself out on the field. I think we're going to get Mr. Samwise Gamgee out. Uh, he so he is a two mana 2 2. Whenever another non token creature ETBs, I get a food token and I can sacrifice three foods to return a historic card from my graveyard. So an artifact, a legendary creature, or a legendary card, or a saga. Uh, no sagas for me, uh, so we're going to follow that up with a, a Mind Stone. Uh, and I'll nice, pass to Wally. Nice. Awesome, thank you. All right, so we'll untap and draw. Cool, so uh, we'll play this Swamp, and then I will tap for three to play a Phyrexian Arena. Oh, yes. At the beginning of my upkeep, I draw a card and lose a life. There are no attacks. In 40 so... turns, we got him. Yeah, 40 <laughs> turns. It's a uh, race. Uh, Phyrexian Arena versus Mana Confluence. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there's no good attacks. Tom, I'll pass to you. Okay, I will untap. I will draw. I'll play a forest, and then I will tap one to play hardened scales. Nice. Oh, here we go. And then, hmm, are we friends? Are we all friends? We're all friends. Yeah, we're well, all friends. Well, if yeah. you if you attack me, I'm obviously going to block because I want the light play. Yeah. And want... if we're at the wedding, I'm the caterer. You can't. Yeah. Do <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will. I'll pass the turn. Okay, I'll untap, I'll keep and draw. Uh, right, so let's play a Misty Rainforest. I'm going to pay one white with the reduced cost um, for a birth of Miletus. Search your library for a basic planes card, reveal it, put it into your hand. Um, yeah, so that's chapter one. Um, I'm also going to do the Misty Rainforest because it's commander. I'll do it at the same time, so I'll pay one life and I'll go and find uh, a land. Um, I'm not going to attack, so I'll pass the turn. Sure. I'll untap, upkeep, and draw for turn. Uh, what are we going to start with? We've got we've got some mana to play with. So we will start with a Wood Elves. Uh, so when I enter Batfield, I get to go search for a forest and put it into play. Uh, before that happens, we will make a food with oh, Samwise. It's starting. It's starting. It's starting. It's starting. It's starting. <laughs> uh, we're going to go and get a Canopy Vista, which is going to come into play untapped because I've got two basics. So while you're doing that, I've got a Zyatora's Proving Ground. From the Misty. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to follow that up with a Jahira Friend of the Forest. Nice. Love so, that card. love this card in this deck because it means all of my food tokens can tap for a green. That's so all of my things. So, that's going to enter the battlefield and we'll make another food. I've got two green mana left, but unfortunately, I've got nothing to do with it. So, you could eat your food. I could eat my food, um, but I'm good. I'm going to pass. All right, thank you. We'll untap, we'll draw Phyrexian Arena, losing a life. Unfortunately, and then I'll draw the turn. You have to tap the food to sacrifice it, so I can't tap it for mana. And then ah. mana. Um, I've also gone to find a planes which goes into my hand. Right, so I'll play a swamp, and I think what we'll do is we'll just tap for four to play Shieldred the Apocalypse. Oh, oh, no. This is the Phyrexian version, but it's a four five death toucher. Whenever you guys draw a card, you lose two life. Whenever I draw a card, I gain two life. I hate it, and I wish yeah. I hadn't traded you for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass the turn to Tom. So if I, if I draw a card before the, your end step, I, I'm going to start losing life. While Shield is on the battlefield, yeah. yes. Okay, I'm going to tap one, Swords of Plowshare. Oh, we are yes, friends. Yes, we yes. Are. yes. All right, Tom, you made yes, an enemy Tom. for life uh, now. And you you gain five life, Wally. You gain five life? You gain five life. I just don't want to be losing life. I think that is the correct decision. Well done, Tom. Thank You're you. a team player. In all oh. formats, people. <laughs> yeah. Not just Commander. Yeah. All friends. Okay, and we're passing the turn? Yes, passing the turn. Tom, like, you are dead. Very grumpily. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my good friend Wally. Okay, I will tap two. Let's play Conclave Mentor. Nice. If one or more plus one plus one counters will be put on a creature you control, put that many plus one plus one counters plus one instead. We just get one so we're more, getting basically. We're getting plus two with the hardened scale. So, so I would obviously, I would gain a life because the creatures came in. Mm -hmm. And then I will... Christian, can I commit you for two? Are you going to block? No. Okay, I, I will come attack you for two. Okay, I'll take two. You'll gain two. Yes, um, I, I will pass the turn. Okay, so I'll keep draw. Uh, this will tick up. Uh, I will make... We're going to build a wall. 
Um, and then... Build that wall! Build that wall! <laughs> so you said I could hit you, didn't you? Yeah, you sure. You said you were happy for me to do, to do that. So I'm going to tap for two, playing the reduced cost for Triumph of Anax. Um, so until end of turn, uh, target creature gains Trample, plus X plus O, where X is the number of law counters on the Triumph of Anax. I'm going to choose the Jukai Naturalist, mm -hmm. and Tom, I'm going to swing at you for three. Fair, fair. fair. So you take three. Take that, Tom. And I gain well three. Well done, Christian. Um, and Tom. And then I'm we're friends. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play a War Three Grave uh, tapped, and Ooh. I will uh, pass shock it in. That, that Come on. What do you mean shock, shock it, it in? in. Nah, it doesn't Was it full? In. Full send. Full <laughs> send. Uh, we're going to draw. Ooh. So many things to do. So much food to use. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> things we hate to hear. Yeah. Well, luckily that shielder has gone because we're going to start with the Tacassia's Welcome. Nice. So whenever one or more creatures with mana value three or less enter the battlefield under my control, I draw a card, and that happens once each turn. Uh, we're going to follow that up with a Yoshin Dissident. Uh, so whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under my control, I put a plus one counter on target creature I control. First thing that's going to happen is the food is going to get created from Sam. That's then going to trigger the Dissident, uh, and we're going to put a counter on itself. And I draw a card from my Tecassi's Welcome. And we've got... Four mana to use, so uh, I'm going to play this Temple Garden tapped for the turn, uh, and I'm going to cast Time of Need using one of my food. Uh, this is a lovely altar from uh, my good friend Kit up north. Well, he's south from here, actually, thinking yeah. about it. Uh, so I get to search my library for a legendary creature and put it into my hand. That's nice. Yeah. So That's we, you should run that in I the uh, yeah. mono green D and D one. One of my one of my favourite cards of all time. Uh, we are going to go and get a Heliod, the Sun Crown. No! Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I am all done. I'm going to pass to Wally. All right, cool. So let's see if I can do something, Tom. I am not happy with you. Yeah, but we're My definitely way. not the threat. Well, we're friends, right? Well, well so <laughs> I've drawn, uh, We're from the Shire. Yeah. <laughs> we know what's up. So I've drawn Phyrexian Arena, lost the life, and I've drawn something pretty good, actually. So uh, I'm going to tap three to start with. And we'll play Ophiomanta. Oh, it's a 2-2 nice human snake. shaman. At the beginning of each upkeep, if I control no snakes, create a 1-1 black snake creature token with death touch. Now, while Tom is a snake, I don't control I'm... him. So... <laughs> I was about to use that joke on you. But you are a snake. <laughs> See, I got there before you. you and did, then you um, we're not going to have any combat. Second main, I'm going to sacrifice Gollum to the Phyrexian Tower to generate two black. I will be tempted by the ring. Da -da. I will name the Ophiomanta as my ring bearer. It is now legendary and can't be blocked by creatures with greater power. Its power is two. I'm going to use that two black that I ju that I generated to play a Mind Stone. And that is all for me. Over to you, Tom. Okay, I will untap. Yeah. So on your keep Tom, I will make a 1-1 one, one snake with Death Touch. Oh, nice. I will draw. And Eat. with Phyrexian Tower. I'll play Karn's Bastion. Nice. Finally, I can start actually playing a bit of magic. Um, <laughs> I'll tap for four to play Lathril. Uh-oh. So it, it, it's not it's not that scary. So you're gonna gain a life. Gain a life. I, yeah. I, I will gain a life. So that's one already. That's one. Which is actually three. Yeah, because of what you got. Yeah. So I will then um, I will attack Christian because we've got some deals on the go, and you can block with your wall. Yeah, I will block with my wall. So I gain two. So then. I'd love it if Tom just had like combat trick plus two plus zero. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not that. We're friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be a bit petty, that wouldn't I'm it? I'm just punching the wall. Um, I'll go to my end step. So, so you've gained three life. Three life, yeah. Yeah, three life. So I will um, choose to put my plus one plus one counters on um, everything except the unicorn. Everything basically. except the unicorn. So you get three, three plus one plus one counters on each of them. Okay, that's really scary. I don't think it's that scary, Wally, because we're friends. Well, I'm glad I'm friends with Tom anyway, and I wasn't making <laughs> threats towards him. Like, well, like apparently me and Tom, but... according to Tom, me and him are also friends, so... Well, yeah, yeah, I don't know about that. So George, you need to be worried, really. Yeah, <laughs> My good bit. friend Christian, I, I passed the turn. All right, I'll untap, <laughs> keep draw. I feel like I'm going to get smashed. Um, I'm going... This, this ticks up, and we'll go away, and I'll gain two. And um, This ticks up, um, and I will have my Dukai Naturalist get plus two plus zero, oh, and, and trample until the end of turn. I'm going to play a Plains as my hand. I'll tap for five, taking one, to play Mr. Bombadil. Here he comes. Yeah. Bombadil. Mm. Right, here he is. Uh, so um, I don't have four lore counters among Sargs I control. Um, but Tom, you said we're friends, so so I can hit you for three, right? Oh, no, that's, that's sure. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit you for three. Okay, Christine, my good friend. 
and I, and I will gain three. Uh, I, I like Tom Bombadil as a card because it's one of the only magic cards with a name I can pronounce quite well. <laughs> because it's your name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I'll pass it to Okay, I, I need to make a friend. This is... Uh, we can be friends, of course, don't worry. Your, your world looks pretty yeah. friendly with itself. But I then think. again, you know, <laughs> Gollum, Gollum did some horrible, horrible thing to these hobbitses. So, uh... Well, I actually <laughs> will die on a hill by the fact that Gollum is the true hero of Lord of the Rings. Frodo wanted the to take that ring. Frodo wanted to take the ring back to the Shire and For be himself. the Dark Lord of the Shire. Gollum ensured it got destroyed. Gollum just thought it was pretty. He did. Think, he, he thought it was precious. Uh, we're going to play this main phase. We're going to play a white main lion. Uh, so it has flash, but I'm going to play it now just for a bit of value. So it's a 2 2 flash, and when it enters the battlefield, I can return a creature I control to its own hand. Uh, so I'm going to be returning the Wood Elves. Uh, uh, I also make a food, uh, and I will draw a card. So we go to four food. Oh, value? George has so much mana. So uh, much and then mana. when an artifact enters the battlefield, I can put a plus one counter on a creature. So I'm going to put it on the main man himself. We're going to put it on Sam. And then uh, I am going to replay the Wood Elves for three. That's going to do all the same tricks other than draw a card. So we're going to make a food uh, and then we will trigger our dissident and we'll put another counter on the main man, Sam. Uh, and then I'm going to fetch a forest from my deck and then I will be done after that. So I'll pass the wallet. Thank you. I think you might be my, our most efficient guest ever. That, that was a lot I of try, things to do in a best. short amount yeah. of time. Very, yeah. very good. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So I'll draw yes, for the Tom. arena, lose a life <laughs> and I'll draw for turn. Play Sometimes. this Swamp Void for turn. <laughs> And we'll uh, play the Mind Stone, sorry, tap the Mind Stone into a Soul Ring. Oh no. Mm. Nothing like a turn seven or whatever it is, Soul Ring. <laughs> so we'll tap for three to play Yeheni, Undying Partisan. Nice. Two, two with haste. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, I put a counter on it. I can sacrifice another creature I control to give it indestructible until end of turn. So you can now sack the snake and reset it every upkeep, which is great. Yep, but I'm actually going to first tap for a black. I'm going to sacrifice the snake to Gollum in my graveyard okay. to bring the main band back. And then I think what I'm going to do is, yeah, I'll tap for three for a Grim Harusvex. So it's a 3-2. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, draw a card. Um, go to combat. That's just the board. So clogged up, isn't it? Um, yeah, I think, Tom, that's over to you, buddy. Okay. Uh, on your upkeep, I'll make a snake. On tap. I will draw. Okay, I will pay four to play Rock's Faith Ma uh, Mender. More life gain. <laughs> Double, so much Double life gain. Life gain. Yeah. And um, I don't think anyone's going to try and be friends with me, but Christian, we've got this kind of a thing going on. So well, it's, it's, it's a 5-5 five five now, Tom. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. It's a 5-5 five five that's going to gain him 10 life when it The 5-5 five five is, is... Oh, by the way, I also gained a life for when... Yeah, uh, oh, oh, oh. yeah it'll be two, I think, from the, the well, Rhino as well. T Tom, I think if this starts coming at me, this is... <laughs> we, I mean, we can't continue to be friends. <laughs> like, like... Coming in. Oh, okay, so <laughs> I, 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 I'll take five. You've got the most life. You see, Christian sat there while Tom killed my shieldred for no reason. And now he's worried, wondering why Tom's starting to swing There's him. always <laughs> a reason to kill shieldred. Yes. <laughs> Shieldred was doing nothing. She was just chilling. Shieldred oh. might be the only thing that is genuinely always the threat. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. So I gained, I gained ten life this turn. I go to my end step. So, so yeah. do you put ten counters on that? Well, he puts ten counters, but then he also gets an extra per creature. Two counters per creature. creature. Yeah. Okay. Well, that would be actually twelve, um, because when this entered, and that was ten. Um, and then I am just going to put three, 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 three on. On everything, <laughs> which is actually five, 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 five. five. Yes, so that's terrifying. I will be doing that now. This um, could be a short game, guys. Uh, so these so all go to eight. These all go to eight. Yes, I'm really glad I have Death Switch snakes on my battlefield. Yeah, um, and I and I and I'll pass the turn. On tap, keep draw, uh, trigger. Uh, I will choose my Tom Bombadil to get plus X plus O. Where is the number of Lord So it's now he's now a seven four. Um, but you still that, you can't attack into is, Tom anyway. Yeah. Is, that, is that all? Um, but how are we going to do this? I'm going to pay two, which is the reduced cost for the fall of Lord Conda. Um, so when it comes in, it's number one, which is exile target creature and opponent controls with mana value four or greater. I'm going to choose the Lathiel. Oh. So Lathiel's exile. You, you hate horses that much. <laughs> So I, have to, I, have, I have to. Majestic. I have, I have to do it. Was it was majestic. No, Christian loves horses. He just hates unicorns. Mm. <laughs> right. I'm then going to tap for one. 
uh, to put the Machiko's Reign of Truth. Um, target creature gets plus one, plus one for each artifact and or enchantment you control. So that's five. So I'm going to choose Tom Bombadil. This is a big Bombadil. So Tom the Bombadil is now a... So it's now a 12-9 with yeah. Trample. And he's got Hexproof and Indestructible now, right? And Hexproof yeah. and Indestructible. Oh, I um, hate to be an enemy of Christian. No, I think, <laughs> I think Tom, you are the threat. So I'm going to swing at you with a 12-9 Hexproof Indestructible. I'll take 12. Oh, well. So you can't go down to scores like life total. That's 12 commander damage as well. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's actually maybe one way we could deal with yeah. Tom. Uh, play a player removal. Maybe I should have done this first. So I'm going to pay one life. Uh, and cast a Timrek Calls the Dead for its uh, reduced cost. I'll put one on here and I will uh, put the top three cards of my library into my graveyard. Book of Mars of Ball, Tales of Master Shishiro, oh, an Elspeth Conquest Death, that would have been nice. I'm then going to exile um, the Tales of Master uh, Shishiro and I'm going to make a zombie. That's all for me, I'll pass it in. So we will untap, upkeep and draw, something good. What are we doing here? We will. I'm going to start by cracking this mind stone and just having a look what's down here. We'll draw a card. Um, we are going to tap four of my foods, so we'll leave one untapped. I'm going to cast Finale of Devastation for just two. Oh. So I'm going to search my library and all graveyard for a creature card with convert mana cost two or less, put it into okay. play. See, that sounds like the name of a board, like Finale of Devastation, doesn't it? I was like it does. quietly. Yeah, so we're going to get a Sarin Steel Seeker. This is one of my one of my favourite cards from Modern. So whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under my control, I'll look at the top card of my library. If it's a land, reveal it and put it into my hand. And if I don't, I can either leave it on top or put it into my graveyard. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. So it's entering the battlefield. So that will trigger Sam, and I will make another another food. So we've got four tapped and two untapped. Uh, that's going to trigger Takassi's Welcome to draw a card and the Ocean Dissident when the food comes into play to put a counter on. So I'll draw a card. Greedy. I'm scared of everything that's happening <laughs> on everybody's board. Uh, and we'll you don't put, need to be scared of this. Put another yeah. counter on Sam. Uh, the artifact then enters the battlefield, so it will trigger the Steel Seeker. Uh, we're going to put this in the graveyard, the Beast Whisperer. I'll uh, play my Forest for turn. Uh, and we, we will play out. I don't have much to go with it. We're going to play out the Heliod, which we knew was in oh, my hand. Row, row. I just want to join the life game party that's going on. Uh, oh, it is a creature. So I'm going to get the same triggers. So we're going to get an artifact, a plus one counter, and a trigger on the Steel Seeker. So we're going to keep going with this massive Samwise Gamgee. Uh, and we're going to trigger the Steel Seeker. Uh, we're going to put this Relic, Relic of Legends in the graveyard. Um, could we get spicy and start attacking? Doesn't look like oh, it. Oh, well, Christian's board's open for I, the I, I did promise that I would keep in mind that Christian is always the threat. So I think it's yeah. only my, my due diligence to at least try yes. and hit you for six with Samwise himself. Oh, what's it feel like to be hit by a commander? Ooh. So I'm going to take six. Uh, and that's me done. I'm going to pass okay. you, Wally. So on your end step, I'm going to sacrifice Gollum to your Henny. Yep. Your Henny will get indestructible to land a turn, but that won't matter. And I will draw a card because of the Grim. I respect. Yep. Then we will go to my turn. Uh, Phyrexian Arena, draw a card, lose a life, and then draw a card for turn. So I've got some cards. Right, oh, and I should probably untap as well, shouldn't I? Ooh. Uh, we're going to tap for one, sacrifice the snake to bring Gollum back to the battlefield. Oh, and when Gollum left the battlefield, the ring will have tempted me. Yeah. And I will have named Yeheni as my... Uh, so it's moved over. Yeah, Seems so like moved over one. to Yeheni. Yeah. I feel like Gollum's plan against the Hobbits is about to get underway. Yeah, it is. Well, no, actually, the Hobbits are okay at the moment. They are stupid Ooh. and fat, but we're Ooh. okay with them at the moment. Basically, he's coming after me yeah. for a vendetta at the very start of this game. Well, that doesn't sound like something you'd definitely do, Tom, does it? Um, right, we're going to tap for two to play Costly Plunder. Yep. As an additional cost to this, sacrifice an artifact or a creature. So I sacrifice Golem, and I'll draw two cards. The ring will tempt me again. We'll go to three. So whenever my ring bearer becomes blocked by a creature, that creature's controller sacrifices it at the end of combat. So Golem, when it dies, tempts you? Yes, yes. when it dies. Okay, so we'll tap. So I'm going to keep a colorless floating from the soul ring. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to cast down the Conclave Mentor, destroy target non-legendary creature. So Trigger, you're going to gain 10 life, but it's, you're actually going to gain 20, 20. life. And there will also be a trigger on your Henny, which will get a plus one, plus one counter. So I've got a Quillless floating. I'm going to add a, a another Quillless mm. from Phyrexian Tower to it to play an Arcane Signet. And then I will tap the rest of my mana to play a Spawning Pit. So I can sacrifice a creature to put a charge counter on it. I can pay one and remove two charges counters from it to put a 2-2 spawn artifact creature token into play. Then we'll go to combat. 
Tom, you won't be able to block my ring bearer because all of your creatures have greater power than it. So I will swing at you for three. I'll say three. When it attacks, I will draw and discard. I will discard a spoils of blood. And I'll pass the turn to you, Tom. Okay, I'll tap. Tell me something good. It's amazing how much you've been able to do with mm. four lands. On your upkeep, I'll make a snake. Tell me where is Kandar? <laughs> I'm to speak with him. <laughs> no, let's not do that again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will pass my turn. Oh, oh that, that's scary. Don't be Untap, suspicious. Upkeep, Don't be suspicious. Draw. Um, so, <laughs> I have some things that are going to happen. These are all going to go up. Um, I want this. Uh, Maybe we could break for lunch while Christian plans. <laughs> 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 so, um, First of all, each player is going to gain control of all permanents they own. Yep, so that happens. Um, secondly, Tom Bombadilla is going to get plus one, plus one for each artifact and thing I control, which is six. So he's going to get, uh, become a 10-10. Yeah. Um, I'm then going to do this one. So I'll mill three, Fable, Arid Mesa, Phasing of Zalthea. I'll exile the uh, Book of Mazabal. And I will get another Zombie Boy. Zombie. Um, then I can have Tom Bomb, they'll fight something. He's currently a 10 10. So um, I'm going to have him fight uh, the Rocks Faith Mender. No, well, it's only fighting. I'll take the uh, Rocks Faith Mender. You can take, you can take it. Okay, so the Rocks Faith Mender dies? Yeah, I did. Um, right, so when Rocks Faith Mender dies, there'll be a trigger on your Henny. I'll get another counter. Sure. This will then go to the graveyard and then this will trigger. So the final uh, chapter of a saga, so I will reveal until I get to a saga. Yeah. Wow, there's some like, oh, Kiora oh, Best no. the Sea God. Oh, you hate to see yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely it. love that. With one, and I create a uh, Kraken. That's a Kraken, that is Christian. That's a Kraken token, that, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to go to combat. Um, Tom, I'm going to swing my 10 10 Tom Bombadil at you. Yes, and in response, I'll put tap two. Take up the shield, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature, it gains life link and instruct one side of the turn, and then I'll block with. So you're going to gain um, 11 life? Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. I Six. tried. Um, you couldn't have just gained one more life, so come on. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to tap for four. For an Atraxa, Praetor's Voice. Flying oh, Vigilance, God. Death Touch, Life Link at the beginning of your end step. Proliferate. Go to my end Only. step. Um, who would not like all their stuff tapped? Oh, me. Um, so well, I've not done anything to you all game, Christian. Um, and I came no, in with no the assist on. You, you can uh, tap my stuff. They don't free. want to tap during the next untrap. Tra- so I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose this one to, to gain one. And um, I'm gonna tap your stuff. They don't want to tap during the controller's so next just untrap. Just non armed permanent. Um, and I'll also proliferate the fall of Lord Honda. Um, so this will. Uh, so I don't get the trigger because uh, it was the second time oh. that it happened. And I will pass the turn. Sure. Still in your end step, Christian, I'm going to cast uh, Cosmic Rebirth. So I'm going to choose a permanent card in my graveyard. If it's got three mana value or less, put it on the battlefield. If I don't, put it in my hand, and then okay. I gain three life. So I'm going to just return the, the Relic of Legends. Um, Seems pretty good. So I'm going to gain three life. That's going to trigger Heliod, and we're going to keep the, the band going and, and make this uh, Samwise Gamgee even fatter and stupider, as Wally would say. Um, we've got an artifact entering the battlefield, which is going to trigger the Steel Seeker and the Yoshin. So we're going to keep making Sam bigger, and we're going to flip the top card. It's a land, so I'm going to put that in my hand. Uh, I'll go to my turn. We've got seven foods to to gnaw down on today. <laughs> so you've got you must have about fifteen mana available to you. Uh, we've got a lot. We definitely the, the Relic of Legends is uh, going to give me about three extra mana yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. So I'll draw for turn. There's oh, just yeah, so really. many, so many choices. Uh, we're going to play the Verdant Catacombs, which I drew uh, off the Steel Seeker. Off colour fetches. Off colour fetches. Christian loves off colour fetches. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I think people are always saying, Christian, what is it you love about off colour fetches so much, Inc. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to tap two of my foods for green and the Canopy Vista, and we're going to play a new card. We're going to play Rosy Cotton of South Lane. Oh. Um, so we're going to get all of the triggers. So we're going to draw a card from Takati's Welcome. This is terrifying. Uh, we're going to make a food from Samwise. Hang on, is this infinite? No, this is not infinite. No, yeah. No. Um, Nearly, though. Uh, we make another food from Rosie. And then we've got two Yoshi Distance. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep the Samwise train going. So we get two counters on here. Uh, and then we get one from Rosie as well for a token coming into play. 
uh, and then we get two triggers off the Starrant Steel Seeker for the foods coming in. So we've got a gingerbread cabin, which is going to go in my hand, uh, and a strip mine, which is going to go into my hand. Uh, we're going to go to combat. Uh, we're going to come at Tom with an 11 11 Samwise. Uh, take 11. Take 11. So you take 11, and that's another commander. I think commander damage is the only way to. Uh, yeah, I don't get think. Him now. Well, it's not yeah. going to be my commander damage, but I've got other things I can do. Uh, and I think I'm going to hold the fort there. I'm going to crack this third cat who's now to save some time, uh, and I'll pass to Wally. Thank you. Okay. Uh, right, so we'll tap. There's a lot of stuff on this board at the moment, isn't there? Like, okay, so we'll draw for the arena, lose a life, and we'll draw for turn. Um, we'll play a swamp for turn, and we'll start. I'm going to sacrifice your snake. I will in a second. Mm. Trust me, Snakey Boy's going to die. Mm. Um, we're going to start, though, with tapping for five to play a Drivnod, Carnage Dominus. It's an 8 3. If a creature dying causes a trigger ability of a permanent, I control the trigger. That ability triggers an additional time. So that seems pretty good. Mm. Uh, then we'll play Pay the Black, Sacrifice Snake, yep. to bring Golem back to the battlefield. How quick it comes back to the battlefield? Oh, it's to your hand, isn't to your it? Hand, yeah. Yes, okay. So we made a mistake there. The comments go wild. Yeah. <laughs> so come at me in the comments, yeah. guys. Who would have um, thought I was the one for the rules? Yeah, if you think thought... Wally's a cheater, comment Wally's a cheater below. All right, so we're going to tap for two <laughs> to play Golem. And then I'm going to tap one, because I know what this card does. I'm going to play Bone Splinters, sacrificing Golem to the card to destroy Rosie Cotton. Yeah, I, I suppose that's fine. So oh, now there's oh, going to be a that's few. That's going to make Sam really sad. That there's going to be a few triggers now wife. Yeah. because a creature and opponent control died. I've got Drivenod Carnage Dominus on the battlefield, so there'll be two counters that go yeah. on your Henny. Uh, the ring will tempt me twice, twice, and I'm going to actually move the ring over to the Ophiomancer because your Henny's getting a bit big now mm. for that sort of thing. So you now go to the fourth, the fourth one. Yep, fourth I'm on the fourth. fourth. Well, actually, the ring will tempt me twice, yeah. so I technically on five, but yeah. Um, and also, Grim Harrispex will trigger twice, and I will draw two cards. Can I swing you on and just draw and discard a card and maybe find something that helps us? Yeah, swing your lowest thing. Yeah, it's only going to be just two. The, two. I'll take the room bearer. Yeah. So um, also trigger we all these three. Yeah, you all lose oh, three. Yeah. Thank you, Christian. I will draw a card. Yeah. May as well discard the cool construct, seeing as I can get it back. Um, and I guess just to use up the rest of my mana, I'll play arcane signet mm -hmm. for a viscera seer, and I will pass the turn to top. Okay. I will top. Draw. I will create a snake on your upkeep. Mm -hmm. I will pay so five to play March of Multitudes. Um, create so two soldiers of life link. Yeah. Yep. You gain two. So that's past my turn. Untap, upkeep. Draw. Okay. Triggers. Um, I'm gonna. So they're all gonna go, mm. but I'm gonna I'm gonna stack them a certain way. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Um, Scry X and gain X life, uh, where X is the number of zombies I control, so I'm gonna scry two. So I'm gonna put this one on the bottom and this one there. Then I'll, uh, this will go, um, this will trigger. I'm gonna choose um, getting control of Sam. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That's really bad. Uh, I don't think there's anything I can do. I should have saved my cat for this situation. Yep, here you go, a 9, mm. 11 power Sam. Well, I love Sam, so it's like it made sense to do that. He does stay tapped, though. No, it's untap oh, it. Does it untap yeah, it? Yeah, untap it, yeah. Oh, someone, um, might, someone might get whacked with a Sam. Someone mm. possibly is getting whacked by um, a Sam. Then, because a, a saga has gone, I will reveal until I reach the target, I get the tricks to God, God's heist. You make change control of two target creatures. Um, I know I'm gonna give Wally my wall, okay. and I'm gonna have the Ophiomancer. Oh, don't take the Ophiomancer. But I like the Ophiomancer. You okay. got a wall. I'm gonna tap for four, taking a life, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna cast there and back again. Up to one target creature can't block there. for as long as you control there and back again. Okay. We're gonna choose uh, your Henny, not able to block. Okay. Um, we'll go to uh, combat. Um, this is currently a one, two, three, four, sorry, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go to combat, um, and Jordan, I'm going to swing the Kraken token at you. Yep. And uh, this five, five. Okay. And Wally, a Traxxer is coming at you. Does it have flying attraction? Yes, it does, yeah. 
Uh, I'm going to throw my my not so big cat in the way of the kraken. Of the kraken. And what about the five five? I'll take the five. Okay. I, ha I have to take the four. And I'm getting four. My cat will die. Not until my second main phase, so we'll go to my end step. I'm going to choose uh, the Trickster God's Heist to proliferate. Proliferate with the Traxxer, right? Yeah. Yes, proliferate with the Traxxer, and there and back again. Um, I'm going to exchange control of two non basic, non creature permanents that share a card type. George, you can have the Trickster God's Heist. Okay. And I'll have your Heliod, please. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm not going to do anything about that. You have a, a Heliod. Sure. Guys, can anything do anybody do anything about this uh, then, there and back again? Because he's going to get smiled. He's going to get smiled. Yeah, and then yeah. I, on I, then I'm going to search my library for a mounting card and put it onto the battlefield. But I'll pass the turn while I do that. Sure. Sorry to interrupt the gameplay that I'm sure you're enjoying, but we just had a quick message for you. Yep, if you'd like to support the channel and help us grow, please click the button down here, the subscribe button. Click it once, then click the real button. But let's get right back to the action, Christian. Yeah, let's go. He's on 32. I mean, I can't kill him, but the thing is, Christian's about to get a 6-6 flyer that when it dies, he gets 14 treasures. I'm going to draw. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, you it don't want to see Smaug. Uh, so no. Nobody wants to see Smaug. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to stay in the mountain where he belongs. You don't want to see ben Benedict Cumberland. Be Benadryl Cumberland. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm going to get the third chapter yeah, on sure the tricks to God's Heist. So I'm going to shoot Christian in the face for three, and I'm going to gain three life. Sure. Good choice, good choice. Uh, and then this will go to Christian's graveyard. Right, so now half my board's disappeared. I need to try and try and come back somehow. Um, so I'm going to start by playing. I need to draw some cards, surprisingly. Um, so we're going to start by paying a green and a white and casting Rite of Harmony. So whenever a creature or enchantment enters the battlefield under my control this turn, draw a card. Uh, I'm going to tap three foods. So we've got six tapped three untapped and pay another white. We're gonna play one of my old favorites, which is Teshar. Uh, so that's going to enter the battlefield uh, and I will draw a card. Just while you do that, I um, chose Steam Vents, which comes in tap. Yeah. Uh, Shock it in. Shock, Shock it in. Oh, on Thought your upkeep, seven. I make a snake. Can I have the snake token, please, Polly? Oh yeah, well, you've got the Ophiomancer. Oh, I'll have to draw one. Yeah, draw one. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna tap three more foods, thanks to Jahira. So we've now got six tap, three untapped. I'll give you a second, Christian. I'm going to cost a Tireless Provisioner. Oh, nice. Uh, so that's going at two. Uh, oh, no, I don't have Sam, so that's not going to do anything. Um, however, it does cost three or less, so I'm going to draw a card with Takashi's Welcome and Right of Harmony. So I'm going to draw two cards. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, is Tom Bombadil uh, Hexproof and Indestructible? Though? He is currently not Hexproof and Indestructible. Okay. How much are we worried about Christian's board? I'm, well, I, I think I, it's the smile that I'm really worried about, but I suppose if we can slow him down in any way, it's like a tempo victory, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pay one. I'm going to cast an animation module. I'm casting historic spell. Uh, so that means I can return a creature with uh, value three or less from a graveyard to a battlefield. So I'm going to return Rosie Cotton to play. Um, that is going to then uh, make a food when it comes into play trigger Yoshin Dissident, uh, and we will put a counter on, we'll put it on the, the Steel Seeker, uh, and then I will draw a card from Right Harmony. So I'm going to play an Urza Saga as my land for turn, so it's going to come in with a War Counter, let's just swap those two over. Uh, that's going to tr trigger Tireless Provisioner, <laughs> uh, so I'm going to get a, uh, we'll make a treasure, we'll make a treasure just in case. I think I've had, I've got enough food for one day. Quite scary, isn't it? It's got a lot of value. But you can actually just tap the treasure to make mana, can't you? I can, so yeah, yeah I can sacrifice it. Um, the uh, treasure entering the battlefield is going to trigger Rosie, uh, and we'll put a counter on, on Rosie herself. I'll grab another dice, mate. Well, you can't put it on out. itself if it's her. Oh, trigger. I can't put it on yeah, itself. Yeah, um, so we will we'll spread the love and we'll put it on put it on Wood Elves, just the one. I mean, I, I, could, I could take, or help us take out. Do it. Just because this is going to start whacking yep. in for a lot of damage, yep. so let's do it. The, that last draw of the Rite of Harmony might have, might have given us a bit of hope. That's good. That's yeah. good. Uh, it is going to kill one of my own creatures, but I think that's that's worth the sacrifice. I'm just happy that I'm so the yeah. threat because Before you I, wanted to steal my uh, crap. <laughs> um, and it also means I get my Sam back as well. Um, before I do that, I get a treasure triggering the Silent Steel Seeker. Wait, uh, you got this? I mean, are you about to kill Christian? No, no, no. He's I'm just going to wrath the board. I'm going to put the Rumor Gatherer in the graveyard, um, and then we're going to pay. Uh, white, white. Um, we'll use a food for mana. 
Uh, I'm going to cast a new new wrath, Battle of the Bywater. So this destroys all creatures with power three or greater, and then create a food for each creature I control. Sure. So any response? Uh, yes, I have responses. So I'm going to sacrifice power three or greater. Yeah? Power three or greater. So I'm going to sacrifice the Grim Haru Specs yep. to Viserys here. Mm -hmm. Actually, so I'm going to sacrifice it to Yeheni. Yep. So Yeheni has indestructible. Then Drivnod's activated ability. I'm going to pay four life to sacrifice to exile. Three creature three cards from my graveyard. So that'll be Harrispex, Golem, and Cult Conscript. When I do that, I'll put Golem back in the command zone. Yep. Drivnod will gain an indestructible counter. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. Any response from yourself? No, I'll let them die. Okay, so I'm going to lose. You're going to lose those two. I'm going to lose Tom Bombadil. Uh, I'm going to lose my Tireless Provisioner. I get my Sam back. Um, and I will put him in the command my, zone. This dies. Um, and that's. It from my board, yeah. so I still have. Um, and then I'm going to make a food for each creature I control, which is going to be six. So how many creatures died under your control, Christian? Um, I had one, two, three. Tom? Two. And one from me. So that's five, six counters going on your heading. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to make six foods. So we're going to go to nine foods untapped. It's going to put uh six counters on creatures i control i'm just going to spread the love i think and we're just going to put six on uh teshar just have a nice beefy flyer and that's going to get six sarin steel seeker troopers as well uh we're going to put herd bailoff in the graveyard second trigger uh we're going to keep this on top five times i'll leave that there i'm gonna i'm gonna hold back a little i think and pass the wally all right cool well I've been holding back all game, but I might be able to do something this turn. So we'll draw for Arena. Lose a life. And draw for 10. Right, I'm going to start by tapping for 5 to play a card, Gauntlet of Power. When it enters, I'm going to choose black. So all black creatures get plus 1, plus 1. Whenever a basic land is tapped for a black, its controller adds an additional mana of that colour. Okay, so we're going to start by... We'll keep a black floating, sacrifice the wall. You can have your wall token back, Christian. Oh. Bring Gollum back to my hand. Yep. Add two more black, so I've still got one floating to play Golem. I use the one floating to play School Clamp. I will float a black and pay one to equip School Clamp yep. to Golem. So he won't die just yet. Nope, he won't die just yet. But what I'm going to do then is use the black floating, add another, keep another floating for Alter's Reap. As an additional cost, sacrifice creature, draw two cards. And draw six. Yep, so I'll draw four cards because of the School Clamp. Ooh, my and day. two cards because of the spell, so I'll draw Seems six. Good. One, two, three. Uh, Golem Storm is well underway. <laughs> yes, yes, he sure is. Right, so I've still got one black floating, and I haven't played a land for turn yet, actually. And does the ring tempt you? The ring in? does tempt me, yeah, so I can name another ring bearer. Yeah. I'm actually going to name the Viserys here. The Viserys here is a 2 2 and will be very difficult for people to block now. I'm going to play Cabal Coffers, use the black floating and another black to activate the Cabal Coffers to add one, two, three, four, five black mana. Many manas. Many yeah, manas. Yeah, yeah, got, yeah, I've got a bit of mana here, haven't I? Um, so we'll play Blood Artist. Oh no. So I've got three black mana remaining. I will play Jadar, Ghost Caller of Nefalia. At the beginning of your end step, if you control no creatures with Decayed, create a 2 2 black zombie creature, zombie creature token with Decayed. So that seems pretty good. I'm then going to use my one last black mana and I'm going to equip the Skull Clamp to the Viserys here. We will go to 4 1. It's a 4 1. Go to combat. Can't be blocked by creatures of power with toughness four or great power to four or greater. But you all actually that means actually anyone can block it fairly easily. I'm gonna, I am gonna s I'm gonna I'm still gonna swing around though. Um so let's send Yeheni at Christian. Yeah. Oh no, actually we're gonna send Drivnos at Christian because it's indestructible already. Uh, I'm gonna send Yeheni at George. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna send the Viscerous here at Tom. Uh, so Yeheni's a 13, 13? With 13, the, 13. We'll do it to Tom first. Yep. I'll take the four. Okay, so you will all, everyone will do lose three life because yep. of the ring. Yep. And gonna, I will also draw and I'm discard. I'm going to block with my snaky snake. I'm going to block with my wood elves on your henny. Okay, so I will discard a swamp to the ring trigger. So I'll lose three. Yeah, and you I lose three. lose three. And you've taken the damage, have you, Tom? Yeah. And have you also lost the three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I'm chumping with my heart's content. <laughs> okay, so we'll go to my end step now. So, and somehow I have seven cards in hand, so I don't need to discard. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good turn, that Tom, over to you, mate. Can I have a snake, please? Yes, you may have a snake. Finally can untap Hanscoms. 
<laughs> <laughs> okay, I will play a um, Fortify Village, which comes in tapped. Pay three. Play Unbreakable Formation. So, because I played it on my main phase. Um, it's as well, right? Mm -hmm. It gives, it will give them plus two. They get plus one, plus one counters, right? Tw yeah, tw twice, yeah. Vigilance so, and Indestructible. Yep. And then I will come at, because Wally was nice to me, I will come at Christian twice. Okay. Just, just say as well, on my end step, I will have made a 2-2. Two, two, um, I'm going to block, I'm going to take one, and I'm going to block the other one with Fragment of Conda. So I'll take three. This will die. When it dies, I draw a card. Yeah. Okay, uh, there'll be a trigger on your Hattie, because the creature died. Card of counter. And Blood Artist as well. And it's, uh, oh yeah, Blood Artist. Um, it oh, actually, twice? yeah, so actually there'll be two triggers on your Henny. Two triggers. Um, there'll also be two Blood Artist triggers. I'm going to drain Christian for two, and I'll gain two. I passed the turn. Okay. Gotta love a Blood Artist. Understand. Gotta love a Blood Artist. Got keep. Draw. Three. And I'm going to cast for, first for meaning. I'm going to draw three, then discard two cards, and also just discard an enchantment card. Okay, so I'm going to discard the Elf Dragon War. You have a smile. Oh, oh yes, I have How the Smaug. How can I forget the old Smaugy boy? Uh, here's my terrible drawing of Smaug. It looks more like a fat bird. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, I wondered what you were drawing. I thought you were drawing an axe. So the thing is now, if Smaug dies, he just gets 14 treasures. There is no good option here. No. It's a lot of mana. Is it when it dies, when it leaves the battlefield? It's when it dies, isn't it? I think it's so true. we can exile it. Tom, look at when, when it dies. Yeah. I'll play. Look at you, mate. <laughs> no cards in hand, but okay. I'll play an island. I'll tap for two for an Enchantress's Presence, playing the, the discount. Yeah, nice. Now, Smaug has haste, but you've got flyers. Well, Come at me, I've got no flyers. Beefy flyers. Yeah, but you've got 47 life, so I, I don't think that's going to make it make a difference. Um, Surely so, you need to start chipping away at it. Well, mm. Yeah, but I'm on 21. I'll pass the turn. Okay. You keep attacking me. Like, like, Are you keeping Smaug back? Yeah. Fair enough. The smile's on, on D. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to tap on my 16 foods we're up to. No draw for turn. Um, so much mana on this board, isn't there? <laughs> so yeah. much mana. We'll tick up the Urza Saga. Uh, I'm getting in on the Saga game. Uh, we're going to tap three foods for green. We've got three tapped. Uh, I'm going to cast Inspiring Statuary, uh, which are non artifact spells have Improvise, which is pretty good when you've got a load of foods. Uh, that's going to trigger Teshar, uh, and I'm going to return, I think we're going to return uh, White Mane Lion to my hand for a bit of protection, uh, sorry, into play. Uh, I'm actually going to return Rosie at this point just to protect myself until I can find some way to win. Um, <laughs> <laughs> an artifact. I'm always thinking that, just keep it, keep myself safe until I can find a way yeah, to win the game. Find a way to win. Um, we've got an artifact entering the battlefield and a creature of mana value three or less, so I'm going to draw a card. Uh, we're going to put a counter on this Teshar, and then we're going to trigger the Steel Seeker. Um, ooh, that's spicy. Yeah, we're going to put that in the graveyard, an Academy Matter oh. Factor. Um, oh. I'm going to I think tap... we'll be seeing that soon, won't we? Yeah. It's, it's probably going to happen now. Uh, we're going to tap two foods uh, and a white. I'm going to cast uh, Savin's Reclamation. So return target permanent card with mana value three or less from my graveyard to the battlefield. If it was from the graveyard, I can copy it and do it twice. But it's just the once. So we're going to return the Academy Manufactor. Uh, <laughs> That's such a good card. Like, it's scary. Yeah, good, like, it's it? so scary. You're just going to make loads of things. We've got yeah. lots of things coming. So we're going to uh, trigger uh, the Steel Seeker in the ocean. We're going to put another counter on this test shot and we're going to trigger a look at the top card. Uh, Devoted Druid's a bit late to the party, so we're going to put that in the graveyard. Devoted Druid? I know, I know. There, it's must good. Be, there must be at least 50 cards in your deck that go infinite with Devoted Druid. <laughs> <laughs> um, however, I've drawn a lot of lands, so we are going to play out this uh, strip mine. I think that Cabal Coffers is where this is going to go eventually. Uh, but we'll go to combat to start. Uh, Wally, have you got any flyers? I do not. Uh, we're going to poke you in the air for 10 with this Teshar. Just, 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 just for 10, just, right? Just, just for 10. 10. Just for 10. Yeah, well, I guess I've got to take the 10, haven't I? Just for 10. 
So before I go to my end step, I'm going to strip my New Yorker ball cough as well. Makes sense, that. Because that thing gets silly when it's ta Okay, let's tap so I can't <laughs> <Ta -da>! <laughs> It's gone. Uh, and then I'll pass the turn to you. Ta-ra means goodbye in Scouts. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It was more for, it was me. Yes. More for my sake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... I think I can do some things this turn, because I've got a bit of mana now. I mean, the Cabal Coffers would have been nice, but I actually didn't really need it that much. That's what you want to hear. Mm. Just, a, just a little flex there. By the way, you can so tell that you're like, you, you play a lot of visit and stuff because of your graveyard. Yeah, this, like this the way... Years of dredge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Years dredge. of dredge. Like that type of thing, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to lose a card, lose a life from the altar. Uh, right, so we'll play a swamp there this turn. So I'm going to pay two to play Vran. Execution of Thane. Mm -hmm. Whenever one or more creatures you control die, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. Triggers only once each turn. So then I will tap for four to play Vindictive Vampire. Whenever another creature you control dies, Vindictive Vampire deals one damage to each opponent and you gain one life. I'm in danger. Yes, you are in danger. 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 Then we'll leave a black floating to play Braids, Arisen Nightmare. At the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice an artifact, creature, enchantment, land, or planeswalker. If you do, each opponent may sacrifice a permanent that shares a card type with it. For each opponent who doesn't, that player loses two life and you draw a card. We're going to start sacrificing things now. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so we'll sacrifice firstly the Decayed Zombie, the Viscerous here. Yep. Scry one. So how many life do we all lose? So everybody is going to lose... Well, there's two from the Vran. Yep, so it's four actually. Four. Oh, I forgot about the trigger. Five, six. So everyone's going to lose, everyone's going to lose six life and then the Blood Artist trigger. I will target Christian, you'll lose two more life, and I will gain five life. Five life. Yep. Uh, no, it's actually six life I'll gain. Yeah. Let's sacrifice Braids to... Oh, sorry, the card that I scribe, by the way, I meant to put on the bottom. Sure. We're going to sacrifice Braids. You sack it and see your Henny, yeah. yeah. Um, no, sacrifice it to Viscerous here. Oh, I'm Viscerous, yeah, again. sure. Um, There's a Blood Artist trigger. Blood Artist trigger, and also a Vindictive Vampire trigger. Yep. So everybody will lose two life. Yep. And your Blood Artist. I will gain two life. And the Blood Artist, again at Christian, you'll lose two, I'll gain two. See guys, I can gain life as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a lot of life gain in this uh, episode. Okay, so we'll tap one. First time I'm blood floating. Oh no, I've got a black floating, haven't I? So I'll use the floating black to cast Dredge. Target the Viscerous here, so I'll sacrifice it. It's going to draw four. Yes, I will draw four cards. And a five. And five, five because of the thing, yeah. yeah. And so there's a Blood Artist trigger. Blood Artist trigger, Christian, you lose two, I gain two. And then we all lose two. Yep, you all lose two, and I gain four. I know it's two, I gain, sorry. Two, yeah. Right, so I've gained some cards. not now. long for this world. No, I'm you're sure. not, I'm afraid, Christian, you are going to die. Um, I never got to do the smog. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll tap for four. Let's play a Falcon Wrath Noble. Whenever Falcon Wrath Noble or another creature dies, target player loses one life, and I gain one life. So that's any creature. No, that's what's, what's making it discounted. It's uh, it, I'm getting double mana. Two mana. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good, that isn't it? Uh, yeah, you really didn't need that cabal coffers. <laughs> <laughs> you tried. Yeah, I tried. Jokes tried. on you, buddy. Jokes on me. I'm gonna tap this. So there's a black floating because I'm going to equip the skull clamp to Vran Execution of Thane. Then I'm going to use the floating black to play Carry and Feeder. Can't block. Sacrifice a creature. Put a counter on it. Classic. Um, I'm going to sacrifice Vran, because Viserys is dead. I'll sac just sacrifice it to Spawning Piss, I guess. Put a charge counter on it. Yeah. Thank you. So, Blood Artist trigger. Blood Artist trigger. Christian, lose two, I gain two. Vindictive Vampire trigger, and also a Falcon Wrath Noble trigger. So I'm dead. Yeah, Christian's going to uh, die. I'll gain well. two life from that, and you guys will all lose two life. Yeah. And, and, and I'll gain two life. Uh, do, you, do they not lose? I mean... This oh, one player, so well. who, who, who do you choose to lose? I think you did I targeted you with that. I was, I was already dead. Oh, with you? the three, yeah. yeah. So. All right, then Tom, go on. Because I think George is going to gain a bit of life soon, so... It's, it's the, um, the secondary plan of you food. You did well, Tom. Bombadil, not you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, oh my god. The, 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 uh, not that, like Christian. Yeah, that's that. not like Christian. Um, if the Amancer goes to your graveyard. It sure yeah. does. Um, I've got a Heliod somewhere in there as oh, well. Oh, sorry. Yeah, gonna go stealing to, your Heliod. Which goes to the We're going to go to combat. Um, and I think I'm going to swing the indestructible Drivnoz and Yeheni, who is a 14-14. Large, large That's George. Uh, I'm going to be throwing some things in the way, I think. Yeah, so I we're going to throw this uh, white main line in front of the Drivnod. And yeah. 
I think this dissident's done enough this game. We're going to throw the, the dissident. So you're right. just jumping? We're just jumping for days, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I can't give anything trample, so that all happens as expected. But I've got creatures dying, which I think might trigger some of your creatures. Yeah, so already. two creatures die, so yeah. there will be two triggers on your Henny, but actually they're double, so it becomes an 18 18. Seems pretty good. Uh, and also, Falcon Wrath Noble will die, so George, I'm going to target you with both triggers, so yep. you'll lose four life, and I'll gain four. Yep. Uh, and blood oh, and Blood Artist as, well. as well, yep, so same again. Keep going. You've got loads of mana to crack that fight, so I actually, I can do 14 damage to you, but I'm going to not do that. I'm going to pass the turn for now on my end step. I'll guess a zombie from yeah. I can finally have my turn. Yeah, yeah, it's your turn now. <laughs> You've been waiting a long time. Oh, do you know what this well, is going to be? Land past this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got the six, the commander. For come. rest. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to play that just yet. I am. Um, can you hear the bells? Oh, it's time. The, they've been waiting their time for their yeah. wedding, and there's only two guests oh, to arrive. I forgot the top out of command. Yeah. <laughs> only two Normally, the board wants to be wide at this point, but it doesn't matter. They'll come for anyone. All right, there we go. We'll play all the mana. There's six mana. Do, 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 do. <laughs> what a sad wedding. Yeah. Um, as these entered the battlefield, as they've entered the battlefield, um, I get put to plus one plus one counts on each other creature I control. But with that, I get to so they that will would have get been so two. good about five turns so, ago, yeah. wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. 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 Um and You gain one life for each other creature you control. Okay, so you, so one. Great. Um, makes no real difference to me, um, Wally, because you, you're just coming at us now, aren't you? Really? Um, get him. I will send two. Five five soldiers at you. Woo. With lifelink. With lifelink. With lifelink, okay. Uh, well, if they've got lifelink, this is not actually a lot of point blocking. I'll just take the 10 damage and you'll gain this hand. Thank you. Back up to a buff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's where I need to be. <laughs> at, at some point, we've got someone's got to die, guys. And well, that's, that's not that that die. a piece of resistance of the wedding, really. Um, I'll pass the turn. I think I'm going to have to gain some life on, on end step to try and outlive Wally. Uh, so we're going to start by cracking one food, Wally. One food. Any responses? <laughs> no, no, no. Just yeah. to say that you are stupid, <laughs> fat hobbit! There it is. <laughs> uh, we're going to do the Good same. Good waiting to do that. We're going to be <laughs> doing the same again. Sacking a food and going to 20. Are you just going to sack loads, are you? I'm just going to do it one at a time, just in case you, you want to... I've got... I literally can't do it. Just anything. do it, yeah. yeah, yeah do I don't it, think yeah. anyone's got anything. So we'll tap two more. Sack another food. Uh, we'll go again. Two more. We'll go to 26. And I think that might keep me alive for a wee bit. What's the harm? One more. Six. <laughs> we'll go back to 29. Just just one more piece of food. Just That's one what more we all tell ourselves, food. isn't it? It's, yeah, just, yeah. Just, just, one just one more bite. It's, it's a right. dangerous I'll, downhill just slope. One more biscuit. I'll start on Monday. <laughs> uh, I, will, I will untap. <laughs> I like that. Uh, so we've still got 11 foods after all that, which is oh my kind of impressive. But the thing is, like, you can tap the foods to sack the foods, can't you? We've seen this before, John the Luis. Uh, yeah. I'm going to float a collar to my Ezra Saga and then I'll go and fetch a, a one CMC artifact and put it into play, which is... I wish, it, I wish it was going to be exciting, but it's it's really not. It's just going to be a soul ring. Uh, it's a white border one, because it looks the most like the one ring that I could find. There it is. Oh, nice. Nice card. We love it. We've got a, we love a bit of white border. It does have a certain one ring vibe it to it, doesn't it? Yeah. It's as it's falling into to the oh, Mount Doom. Uh, right. How can we kill Wally this turn? Let's face it. Um, I don't like the sound of this. I, got, I love the sound of that. I you've got you one do. flyer. Wally? You're, you're just dead next. Right? I'm just doing the wedding. Yeah, I've got yeah. one. So flyer. Wally's got one flyer. That's if me. I can make a big enough, if I can find a, a some sort of uh, creature or some sort of removal spell for this Falcon Wrath, I can just bump, bop him with a Teshar. Um, That's scary. So I think. The best way, I think, to do this. Can you can you hit me for 40 this turn? There's a possibility. There is a possibility. Nice. Wow. Do it. Well, that is quite the turn. Don't you wish you were at the wedding? <laughs> well, it's not a good wedding without a fight, Tom. So, if anything, this is just playing right into your hands. So, we're going to tap uh, Soul Ring. I'm going to tap the treasure for green, because it actually taps for a yep. green rather than sacrificing it. Uh, and a white. I'm going to flash back this Rite of Harmony. Yeah, makes so, I'm going to draw a lot of cards. Um, I'm going to float 11 green with these foods, uh, and I think we're going to go 
We'll make it 12 green with the, the Relic of Legends. I'm going to start by casting a Rampage of the Clans. Okay, um, Rampage of the Clans is on the stack. Yeah. Your foods are all tapped, yep. so you now can't sacrifice them for life, correct? That's correct, yes. Every time I sacrifice a creature, I can hit you for four, I can do you for four, and I can gain four. I've had, no, actually, I will do you for six. So with Clash of the... What is it? Clash of the Clans. Rampage, Rampage of the Clans. Clash of the Clans is a game, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So... Well sponsored. <laughs> Six Hashtag per hand. creature. Yeah. You have twenty-nine. That is five creatures I need to sacrifice, and I can do you. And you've got six, which, and I've got which leads you plenty. Right. Okay. So that's on the stack. I'm going to sacrifice. Decayed zombie goes. Yep. So blood artist. Yep, George. How much? Two. I gain two. Yep. Falcon Wrath Noble. Yep. yep. George loses two. I gain two. Yep. Then vindictive vampire. Each opponent loses two. I gain two. Then I'm just going to do that an additional one, two, three, four times. So um, you're going to do it another four times? Yeah. So George will lose six life four times. Tom will lose two life six, four times. I'll do that. And I will gain all that life. So I'll gain six life four times. Unless you had something. Unless I've got something. I'm desperately looking for it. Um, so. I've got seven mana floating from the food, so I'm going to um, I'm going to pay three to activate my animation module. I'm going to put a counter on my Teshar and pay the one to make a servo. Uh, I couldn't find a servo, so a one one. Yeah, that's going to trigger the Rite of Harmony and the Sarinth. Yep. So I'm going to trigger the Sarinth first, and then draw a card. Uh, it's a land, so it goes to my hand, and then I'll draw a card. No, that's not going to be enough. Yep, I think Wally's got me. Okay, and so... Me tapping out my food was a big mistake. So all of these creatures but will die? I'm hoping that's helped Tom enough to maybe come back. Are you having a laugh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've had to sacrifice a lot on my board to do that, Tom. So it, actually, it might potentially work. You have loads of mana? Loads of mana. Well... And the... Um, I will obviously put a few counters yeah. on spawning pit, so that'll be six There's counts. So five I counts on spawning pit now. I think you've made a good effort. That was Rampage effort. of the Clans was a was a, was a big gamble. It was, it was a gamble. Yeah. Yeah. As as it was going to be drawing something like seventeen cards to try and find it, a way to push through Wally. It was as soon as you tapped your foods, I was like, okay, here's my opening. I've yeah, got to go, got to go gotta now, go or I've got to go not so at all. I guess that's your turn, Wally. It sure is my turn. On the sack. Yep. So I'm untapping my stuff. Drawing for the arena, lose but my life. Achievement unlock, take the threat away from me. Yeah, 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 you did. <laughs> you certainly did. Well, I don't know, I, I had to be taken out first, maybe. I'm just... Who's the threat? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> I think today I might have just about been the threat. I'll place one for turn. Just like um, the end of the Lord of the Rings, it's the dawning of a new age. Yeah. So we're going to tap for four black, and I'm going to firstly remove two charge counters from here, and I'm going to put a 2-2 two -two spawn artifact token into play. Don't have one. Please so win just... the game at 69 life, Wally. <laughs> <laughs> well, I won't because I gain life every time oh, I do yeah. stuff, so unfortunately yeah. I won't be able to. And I'm also going to play IR of Fist of Lock Twain. Can you hear me out this turn? Whenever IR of Fist of Lock Twain or another Fist Black Twain. Fist of Lock Twain. First of Lock <laughs> You got I, it on I, his I, mind. You got something on your mind, Wally. <laughs> I've been calling that Fist of Lock Twain for so long. I've not, just not read that card, have I? I've clearly not read that card at all. Um, okay. So Tom has 34 life. Each time I sacrifice something, I pink him for six, but a lot of things I'd be sacrificing are the things Don't that... Do it. Do it. Sacrifice. I think... It's worth the three. Do it for three. Okay, actually, what I can do is, because a lot of these trigger off other creatures as well, so... Let's tap for two. I'm going to terror Aragorn and Arwen. Okay. At their own wedding! At their own uh... wedding. So you're going to lose four life, and I'm going to gain four life. It's only one now, because Drivnod's gone. Oh yeah, you're right yeah. actually. So it's, so it's just two. Two. You lose two, I gain two. Mate, we're gonna tap for a black. We'll use it, we do not use our cane signet to do it. Uh, play Annihilating Glare. I'm gonna destroy one of your tokens, Tom. You can choose which one. I need to sacrifice a creature or an artifact in order to do that. Um, I'm gonna sacrifice the Mind Stone to do it. So again, you lose four, Tom. Lose two, sorry, and I gain two. Thank you, George. Good to have somebody who's actually paying attention. Who knows the, the rules? Show. Yeah, Not who like knows us. the rules? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. It's going to sacrifice the spawn, Tom. Hit you for two. I gain two. Going to tap for two. Remove two towards 
two counters there. So I've got one colorless floating. I'll make the spawn again. I'll immediately sacrifice it. Two spawning pits. So actually there'll be three counters on spawning pit now. Tom, you lose two, I gain two. Again, we're gonna leave a black floating, go down to one counter on spawning pit, bring the spawn back, do the same. That'll put a counter there. So four creatures have died under my control this turn. So I'm gonna use the floating black to play body count for its spectacle cost. Draw a card for each creature that died under your control this turn, so that will be four. Wow. I was joking about Gollum Storm, you didn't have to prove me right. <laughs> Are you playing the Merc with bats in this, by the way? I am, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Shot. Uh, right, so, I'm gonna tap for six. I'm gonna use five of its places a Conrad the Grim. Yeah, it's not look, it's looking bad this, isn't it? I've got a black floating and I'm gonna add another one to it to play Dreadhorde Invasion. So on my upkeep, I lose a life and a mass one. Seems pretty good that. A mass one zombies now. Yes, a yeah. mass one, not orcs, zombies, not orcs yeah. Is zombies. So we're gonna sacrifice Ayara first of Lockthwaite <laughs> to spawning pit. Add a counter to spawning pit. How much is Tom losing? So Tom is now going to lose three, three four. life. Four with the Conrad? No, it's three. Three? three. three. Yeah. No, it's, sorry, it is four, you're right. You're four. right. Yeah. And, you gain. and I'll gain three. Three. Can you not just kill me? Go to combat. Tom. No, he wants to drain you very, very yeah. slowly. I, I actually don't. I don't think I can kill you without leaving myself silly, stupidly open. So I'm just gonna. I, 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 don't, I, I don't understand. So just, Tom, just swing everything life. at me. He's gonna smack you for two in the air, Tom. So two in the air, and then I'm gonna pass the turn. Okay. Um, I will untap. <laughs> this is gonna be a land pass for, for the fellowship. <laughs> yeah, come on. For the fellowship, come on. Tom. What, what could you do in green white that would do it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> is it a land pass? And then um, you can proliferate. I could proliferate, yes. Okay, I'll tap seven. To play... Um, the case. Yeah, yeah. Good card. People, we, so it's, it's going to come in with six, six plus one, plus so one. seven. The worst card to hit from a Cascade trigger, as I found out in Double Masters. <laughs> Would it come in with double? Just plus one. Just plus one? Yeah. Okay. Not much I can do here, Wally, so I don't really care. So I'll swing at you with five. Yeah, I'll take it. So you gain that right. <sighs> So you're up to 23. That might that might be important, you know, Tom, that 23. I'd rather you just kill me. I would, well, I would rather that as well. But End I don't know if the I misery. End it. And then it's your go, okay, okay. Yep, so I'll untap my stuff. I actually will, I'm sort of relying on a half decent top deck here, to be perfectly honest. Um, I will amass one. So I'll get the zombie. So I'll draw for Phyrexian Arena, losing a life. And I'll draw for turn. We'll tap for two, for a bit of blossom. Right on time. Yeah, yeah just, yeah, just when I need it, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna tap for Three to play Midnight Reaper. Oh, yeah, Midnight Reaper. So whenever a non team yeah, opposing creature I control I deals one damage and I draw a card. So we're going to start by sacking the zombie army to Spawning Pit. So Tom, you will be hit for one, two, two three, four. Yep, four. And Wally will gain three. Yep, I'll gain three. Um, it's not a non-token creature, so it doesn't trigger Midnight Reaper. Tap for one. Actually, we're, gonna, we're just going to add tap for two. Remove all the counters from Spawning Pit to create two spawn tokens, which I'll again sacrifice to spawning pit. So Tom, same thing will happen. You'll lose four twice. I'll gain three twice. At this point, is there any point in gaining? Yeah. <laughs> so we'll just tap the Phyrexian Tower to again create the spawn. Same again. Tom, you lose four. I gain three. Then... You must have it, must Wallace. Have it. Yeah. You must yeah. have it. Midnight, Midnight Reaper. Tom, you lose four. I gain... Five, because the Midnight Reaper yeah, itself. Yeah, Because it's... Uh... Uh, no, it's draw a card. Oh, one, two, three, four. Oh, but actually, yeah. it does see itself die. So yeah, it does see itself die, so you will draw a one, card. One, two, three. I will draw a card and lose a life, so... Can you kill me by sacrifice? Yeah, I'm, I'm going yeah. to, yeah. Um, you can kill him in the air now. What do, you, what do you want to finish him with? Well, basically, Tom, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sacrifice Don't all of my creatures. Don't do it. Don't just... Okay, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> you need to sacrifice one more and one yeah, more. Yeah, so, so Conrad, there you go. Thank you. And you gain two. Yeah, what a that's slow, game. painful death. Sorry, guys, for the solitaire there. Sorry. Well, congratulations on your wedding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hope you had a lovely day, Tom. How many happy returns? Good game, well done, Good game. Molly. Cheers, guys. Good game. Good game, Thank you. Well, well played, George. Well, well played, George. Well, 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 thanks for well, coming on. Uh, well, brilliant. Well, uh, thanks very much for joining us. You have fun on your. It's been yeah. great. Yeah. It's been great. You got to do your thing, got to make lots of food. Death by food. It's my, it's my <laughs> dream. Death by chocolate. It's my dream. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, well, thanks very much for joining us. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with the post game wrap. Bye for now. Bye for now. The precious is mine. Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> As I said, Gollum is the true hero of Lord of the Rings. I don't agree with if that. If you disagree, bit. come at me. I will die on this hill. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed the episode. We had, a, we had an absolute blast filming. That was great to have George on the show. Yeah, Tom, Tom yeah. always good to have back. How did you find your deck? Well, it did exactly what I wanted it to. So, you know, I was sacrificing stuff, looping things around. I actually forgot about Gollum towards the end, to be perfectly <laughs> honest, because it just got to the point where I had so much value on the board already, I didn't need to do his thing. Yeah, makes sense. And as soon as I saw George tap those foods, my eyes yeah, lit, lit, lit up. up. I was like, well, this is my chance to get him out of the game. And I think I probably had Tom on the ropes yeah. at that point. Your so. eyes were like actually as wide as Gollum. In they the they very much were. Yeah. <laughs> well, I love the Tom Bombadil, right? I thought when I was building the deck, I was like, I don't really know how it's going to work. But then I was just looking at my board and I was like, oh, okay, it works. It's working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it works. So let us know what your favorite deck was in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Yep, certainly. And um, yeah, Wally, do you want to tell them about the competition? Yep. So if you'd like a chance to win this Dominaria Remastered Draft Booster Box, all you have to do is first subscribe to the channel, click down here, do it right now, why not? Then share one of our videos on any social media you like, send a picture of you doing it to our channel email address down here. It'll take you less than two minutes and you could have a chance to win this box that is going to be chock full of some really cool cards. So get on it right now. Yeah, absolutely. And if you fancy meeting us in person, uh, there's two chances to do that. First of all, we got our creative badges approved for Barcelona. So we'll see you in Barcelona. If you are coming to Barcelona, drop us a comment, drop us a message, Frisbee us an email, whatever you want to do, uh, let us know because we'd love to meet you. We'll be doing some things while we're there. We've yet to decide exactly what it's going to be, but we will be there, so come see us. There will be an announcement, and we are desperate to meet some fans when we are over there. So please, please come and say hi. We're very friendly. Yep. Try to be approachable, or at least I do anyway. Yeah. So yeah, come say hi. Friendly people, not so friendly decks. Yeah, yeah. I think that's fair <laughs> to say. Yeah. Certainly mine today anyway. Yeah. And also, um, I will be uh, at, at Lille as well in the next uh, Legacy European Tour uh, competing with the Pioneer Championship. So if you are there, please concede to me straight away and then we can go and uh, grab some food. Sounds perfect. Brilliant. And um, also, quick final shout out. If you want to join our Patreon, it's uh, below. Please come and join us. We'd love to have you there. We're hanging out in the Discord. One final shout out to our beautiful patrons. Thank you, guys. We love you all. Yeah. So thanks for joining us. We'll catch you next time on Chat Magic. Bye for now. now.